What's up guys, it's Pavion with another Diablo 3 Demon Hunter build guide for season 18. In this video I'm gonna show you everything that you have to know for the Demon Hunter. At the end of this video you know exactly what items, skills and stats you need and I'm gonna explain you how you wanna play through a Great Rift as a Demon Hunter. First of all, my items are definitely not perfect. I only played this Demon Hunter for like 3 hours in season 18 but I already did a Great Rift 100 and I can do a Great Rift 105 I guess if I want to. In season 17 I did a Great Rift 124 with around 1500 Paragon points. Right now it only did a Great Rift 123 but I will see him climbing in a short period of time I hope. But let me explain you how it all works. So since we are playing the Demon Hunter Impil version we want to make sure that we have all the pieces of the shadow set. If you have 6 pieces you will get 75,000% impil damage, you will get every skill rune from shadow power and when you are using a melee weapon your damage will be increased by 6,000%. Compass, Rose and Traveler's Pledge work great on this class. When you move you get damage reduction, when you stand still your damage will be increased by 100%. These two items synergize very well with the conventions of elements and I got that one in the Gnice Cube. Uh, when you know it goes on the right element, in this case cool damage, you want to make sure you position yourself at the right location so you can get the 200% increase in damage from the conventions of elements and also 100% increased damage from the Compass Rose and Traveler's Pledge. We also want to use the Elusive Ring, this will give you a lot of damage reduction when you are using a Vault. This damage reduction is not good enough to stay alive, that's the reason why we will use the Knife Cube to equip the Aquila Caress. This will give you even more damage reduction and that's something that we need. But the Aquila Caress is not gonna stay active if we keep casting our Vault, that's the reason why we wanna use the number one belt Chain of Shadows. This will give us a free Vault after we cast, uh, cast Impale. For our weapon we will be using the Carlas Point, this will increase the damage of Impil and it also returns hatred if you hit an enemy. This way you won't run out of hatred and you won't run out of discipline. For our braces we will be using strong arm braces, this will increase our damage after we fall through a group of monsters. And for our offhand the Quiver Holy point shot, this will increase the number of impulse you throw, that means more damage, more hatred return. For our Knife Cube, um, we want to go for Dawn. This will reduce the cooldown of Vengeance by 65% and we want to have Vengeance up the whole rift long. Aquila Caress for the 50% damage reduction, as I already mentioned, and of course the Conventions of Elements for the 200% increase in damage. So for the legendary gems, Pain Enchancer, when you crit an enemy it will bleed for a massive percent of weapon damage for 3 seconds. It will also increase your attack speed for any, every enemy that's bleeding. Bane of the Trap, um, this will increase your damage and it will also slow enemies. And of course Gokok of Swiftness because this is giving us 1% attack speed and cooldown reduction and we can have a total of 15 stacks. For our Paragon Points, just get a lot of Paragon Points. The more Paragon, Paragon Points you have, the more damage you will be dealing, the higher you can go on the Great Rift. For the skills, Impil over Penetration. This Impil will travel in a straight line and every monster who is getting hit is getting hit. This is also the reason why we want to have some area damage because it is just wrecking groups of monsters. If you want to speed farm with the Impil build then I guess the Lightning version is better because you will never run out of hatred. But for the Great Rift pushing the Cold version is the best. For our next skill, we want to be uh, using Shadow Power. We will get every skill ruined from this because of a fourth set bonus and that's very useful because it will slow enemies, reduce the cost of discipline, reduce the damage taken by 35%, increase the movement speed by 30% and it will give us some life per hit, very useful. Fan of Nice, Bladed Armor, this will give you 40% additional armor and if you have 32% cooldown reduction this can be up always. Vault Rattling Roll, when enemies get knocked back then it will stun the enemies, we will be doing that with our braces. Vengeance Dark Heart, this will give us damage reduction by 50% and it will also give us 40% increased damage. And of course 
companion, war companion. This will make you a little bit more tanky. And when you activate this skill, it will taunt enemies within 20 yards for 20 seconds. So you can stand 5 seconds longer hitting that elite monster to kill it. 4 hour passives. Man, my mouse isn't working. Okay, it doesn't work anymore. I can't continue the video. You stupid... You... It's not working. There we go. So the first passive is ambush. So you will deal more damage to enemies above 75% health. Awareness, which will give you a second life when you die. Gull of the weak. This is also increasing uh, our damage. And as last, numbling traps, this will reduce the damage of enemies who are slowed or hit by our fan of knives. Uh, for the stats on the gears, for your helm, um, you want to get dextry, quick to chance, impel damage. For your armor, dextry, vitality, reduce damage from elites. Shoulders, dextry, vitality, all resist, area damage. Necklace, cold damage, quick to chance, quick to damage. Gloves, dextry, quick to chance, quick to damage, area damage. Braces, cold damage, dextry, vitality, quick to chance. Belt, dextry, vitality, all resist, life percent. Pants, dextry, vitality, all resist. Boots, my mouse, dextry, vitality, all resist, impel damage. Conventions of elements, attack speed, quick to chance, quick to damage. Compass rose, dextry, quick to chance, quick to damage, cooldown reduction. Weapon, weapon damage, percent damage, dextry, area damage. Quiver, cool damage, dextry, attack speed, quick to chance, and impel damage. So if you apply all these tips and if you follow the stats and um, the skills, then you can work yourself up on the leaderboard um, you can I think it can go as high as Great Rift 124 um, if this build wasn't clear then just leave a comment below watch the video again and anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a comment like and subscribe turn on the notification it's next to the subscribe button and then we'll see you guys next time peace